Hello and welcome back to another video in the series on Henry Bergson. Today we're going to be talking about Henry Bergson's conception of memory, and specifically his two types of memory. The first one is habit memory, and the second one is pure memory. Now habit memory is, well to start with, now Bergson wasn't a dualist. So what does that mean? It means that Bergson believed that the human being wasn't purely either body or purely soul or consciousness. He believed that there's it was a amalgamation of the two. He rejected that distinction that the human being was solely the sum of its physical parts. So that reflects in his ideas on memory. So habit memory is the memory of the body essentially. So that defines the type of memory that we use for doing tasks that we are accustomed to doing. So habitual tasks like tying your shoe or riding a bike, those type of things. That would be habit memory, those things that are ingrained in our minds and our physical bodies. There is some form of physical dimension to both the pure memory and the habit memory, but the habit memory is specifically tied to physical interactions. Now, the pure memory is more of a clearly Bergsonian idea. Pure memory for Bergson is the clear, somewhat blurry, but emotional state and memory that we have when we think back to prior events. This pure memory is, for example, if you think back to what you ate for dinner yesterday, you think back and you think of the emotions you felt, the taste that you experienced, the thoughts that you had about it, etc., etc. These are all emotional mental states. Sorry, not emotional, but mental states. This is this is distinguished between the mental states, the emotional, the successive uh, consciousness experience of pure memory versus the habitual, mechanical, physically tied memory of habit memory. 